Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Well, it's taken me a few weeks to finally get the right words. And if you want to know exactly what those words are, you can go to haymaker.com and read my 2,000 word statement. I, in my mind, I was going to do 500 words, but I'm sure if you know me, I've got a lot to say and um, I'm trying to keep this video down very, very short. So in a nutshell, what I was saying in that statement, if you can't be bothered to read it, is I've had a fantastic run, 27 years in the sport, 16 years as a professional, 32 fights. Um, but it's time to call it a day. It's time to throw in the towel. It's time to hang up the gloves and retire as a professional boxer. So as of the 12th of June, 2018, I am no longer a professional boxer. Something I've been since the age of 10. It's a strange, it's a strange thought, but it's a thought I'm very comfortable with as I've reviewed my life and my physicality and it's not what it needs to be to compete at world level as a heavyweight or a cruiserweight or a middleweight at the moment. It's, um, you know, the boxing gods will no longer bless me with that freakish speed and power that I've always had since a kid. It's gone now. Um, so it's time to bow out of the game. Um, I'm happy, healthy, my uh, family financially secure, so it was a job well done. I've met many amazing people along the way, worked with many amazing people who have assisted me in getting to this, this, my, my, my destination of being the heavyweight champion of the world. You know, since I was three, I said to my mum, I'm gonna be heavyweight champion of the world as my young mind, the, the biggest accolade I could think of then was the heavyweight champ champion of the world. They talked about Fraser, Ali, Foreman. These are the guys that you know, I grew up you know, hearing about and I wanted to be of that cloth. So I, just, I, I dedicated my whole life to boxing. And in 2009, I went over to Germany and beat Nikolai Valuev for the WBA heavyweight championship of the world. You know, a belt that Tyson, Holyfield, Lennox Lewis had, you know, I can put my name to, uh, as one of those heavyweight champions and it's, it was an amazing feeling. Uh, en route to that, I also was the only British fighter to ever unify the cruiserweight division, winning three belts there. But my time in the game is no more. I'd like to thank you know, all of my, my, my family and friends and my the, Team Hay, who are my extended family and you know, people have come and people have gone over the years, but I love you all. And no matter how, how big your part in my journey, you know, every, every, every piece has mattered. And um, I've learned so much over the last few years. And I'm, I'm looking forward to passing that knowledge on to the next generation of, of boxers and, and my kids. You know, the, the struggles I've been through, the, the lessons I've learned, I can pass them on. Realistic, real life lessons that um, I, I believe can assist people achieving whatever their goal may be. So thank you to the fans, the boxing fans, you know, without you, without you checking up online, without you buying boxing magazines, going to boxing events, buying tickets, there will be no boxing. And um, you know, keep supporting boxing. It's the greatest sport in the world. It truly is, you know, it's allowed me to live my, my, my childhood dream. And um, I'm hoping that many, many other young fighters, male and female, can live their dream through boxing. So thank you to the fans, thanks to my family. I love you all, it's been a great ride, but the ride is officially over now. I'm looking forward to doing other things. Um, it's not the end of my story, it is simply the start of a new chapter. Ain't no stopping us now.